Am I too close to your nest? I'm sorry. I'll move. I'm going to start you guys out this morning over here at the spray bench. Uh, I've got a few pieces that are going to get re-dipped. I get a second coat. I do that with most of my stuff these days. Start out with this piece right here. This is an Art Deco. It is one of the older wiggle wart patterns that I do on the website. Cool thing about this is you can put eyes on these, which is outstanding. I really like that about this. And if you tune them right, they're gonna be fantastic in the water. So this is just a basic uh, fluorescent orange pattern with some white and black splatter on it. Um, if you hear the Yorkie Poo scratching against the door, it's only because he wants to be out here where I am and the garage roll-up door is up and that's not gonna happen because he will not stay with me. Uh, the labs would, but he's not going to. So this piece is the Art Deco. It's very plain on the bottom. It is very cool up top. Uh, still have it on the wire because it's going to get the second coat, which they are all going to get, these 11 pieces right here. You're going to hear cars. You're going to hear things that you don't normally hear as significantly because the door is up, the sun is shining, and we all woke up breathing today. So if you are above ground and you're drawing breath, be grateful for that. Small things, folks. Just, just to take a minute before we get into all of this. Take a minute and be grateful for the small things in life right now. I know the world's still upside down. We're still topsy-turvy. Um, control what you can control. Start small, start with the little things. Start with, there's a really good motivational video and book um, by a military officer. And the first step is get out of bed and make your bed. Get dressed, start your routines, this morning, the small thing for me was getting my, my carpets done out here in the shop and vacuuming and cleaning. It's a small petting zoo. So just, just do little things. Have some coffee or tea or juice. Start by getting nourished in the mornings. Be grateful for everything that's around you that you can control. If you have a roof over your head, if you have family and friends, even if you can't contact them directly or physically touch them, you can still be grateful because you have them. And that makes that a little bit better than perhaps somebody that doesn't. So give thanks for what you can give thanks for, even if it's just drawing breath today. One step at a time, one day at a time, sometimes one breath at a time. Let's move on. We have a mad clown. These little guys are cool. I love making these guys. Um, started doing this pattern when I got bored with the clown pattern, which I do have my version of a clown pattern right back here. Um, it's just a, these are all the Createx Bloodline paints. And it's just a lot of fun. Hand cut stencil on the sides. It's like um, the Wolverine claw marks was my intention and then some speckled stenciling on the top. Bluff Crawl, this is off the 2019 patterns and I have not put the 2020 patterns up as of yet because I, again, I'm still waiting on tons of blanks from overseas. So when, as they start to come in and I can fill orders that I have directly, then we're gonna take care of business. The Harvest Crawl, And yes, this is, if you guys watched the video yesterday, the small water spray session on the start to finish pre-wrap, which is also in the mix here. I'm gonna show that to you in the morning, the finished version. Um, using out of the box thinking to put on the claw stencil. Just, this is, uh, this is meant to mimic a claw. 
and we were able to achieve that just by finding a really cool piece on a pre-cut stencil and then incorporate that and then the blending we've got a transparent orange into a blood red into a yellow back into an orange and then red on the back mostly orange and lighter colors on the belly this piece over here is that Ozark Goblin Craw. Goblin's got green eyes. This is no different. Look at that KBS shine under the studio lights. I, you know, I should, on sunny days, I, I'm gonna try and make an effort to do the updates from over on this side because the lighting is really, really good this morning. It's early, early morning. The sun's not completely over the house. It's about eight, I guess, central time. The Bluff Craw and it's that um, detail burnt sienna into a pineapple on the belly and then it is a stencil I've got um, let me show it to you I can grab that real quick I've got these old hard cuts from Jonas Summer at Lore Color Studio and I still use them um, every once in a while these don't exactly fit on a lot of the wiggle warts that are, are being pressed today. The, the bodies are a little bit fatter, which I like because they're more closely representative of the original pre-wrap wiggle, wiggle warts. Let's see if we can say that five times fast. Pre-wrap wiggle warts. Um, so yeah, it doesn't fit exactly, but if you do one side at a time and basically on the helping hands, I'm just laying that down. Let me pick up the right bait for you guys. I'm just laying that down in the helping hands and setting one side on at a time and you're still able to spray it and this if you look at the website I do a little inking around it just to kind of accentuate and make those craw segment stencil pieces stand out let's see let's see let's go yeah why not let's go with the finished product from that pre-wrap wart there is the Wiggle Wart Insignia, which is a signature of the originals. Love the way this turned out. And it looks nothing like it did when we started. So I'm happy. I think my client will be happy as well. I shot him a picture. Oh, red. These are the basic lines on the stencils. These are the basic segment pieces from a hand cut stencil. Just plain Jane, solid across that belly, one solid line. And then just a little bit of shading with, uh, with black. Give it a little bit more depth this is an original clown this is also an original pattern i've been getting lots of requests for og patterns which is cool digging it i'll do them all day but this is that classic yellow and red bright yellow in the belly a little bit of speckling a little bit darker on the lip and that's it no fuss no muss and then these Very similar, a little bit more orange on the top. And those um, mother of pearl, freshwater, actually freshwater pearl eyes. And these eyes are not really inexpensive, but they're not ridiculous either, but they work really, really well for this particular pattern. I love these eyes. I, I keep them in five millimeter and six millimeter. If you guys have any questions about any of the stuff that you're seeing this morning, by all means, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you're feeling, what you guys up to today in your corner of the planet. And there we have it. That is just about all the news that's fit to print. This has been your Jekyll Bates workshop update from the garage and 
the sun is out and Jenny is happy. Cheers, you guys. Have a great day. We'll get through it together. Small steps, one breath at a time. We'll be all right. We're going to be okay, you guys.